question, why 40 days? I mean, the story says that the flood, how did it start? 40 days it rained. But it didn't rain like what we know what it rained. It came in buckets. I mean, it was pouring. It's not even pouring. It was a flood. 40 days it rained. And after that, another 110 days that the well springs opened and water came from beneath. And not only did they came in high pressure, they were boiling hot water. And for 150 days, there's a mixture of rain and water coming from all directions. And then another entire year that the whole world is underwater. But originally it was 40 days. It says that the rain was 40 days and 40 nights. Why 40? Nothing happens by chance. Everything has a, a, a base to that. So we are aware of three foundations in our life. One of them is called Torah. The other one is called Tefillah, prayer. And the third one is called Tshuva, repentance. These are the three foundations in our life. We have to have Torah. We have to be involved in some way or another in the Torah. And that also applies to the non-Jews because the non-Jews are also obligated in following their laws in the Torah which now is the highlight. I mean, the, the, the laws of the non-Jews are called the seven laws of Noah. Up until the flood, Adam Arishon got six of the laws. And Noah got the seventh law. That's why it's called the seven laws of Noah. Not because the, all the nations came out from Noah. Rather because Noah was the one who got the seventh law. But even the non-Jews, the Gentiles, they have a piece in the Torah and they're obligated in following the Torah at least in their portion, the seven laws of Noah. So also it applies to them. And we have the, the foundation of prayer that we have to pray. doesn't matter if I'm a man or a woman, I still have to pray. And we always have the concept of repentance. I mean, we're not 100%. We fail here and there. And then we have the option of repentance. All these three foundations are all connected to the number 40. If you remember, when Moshe Rabbeinu went up on the mountain the first time, he got the Torah, he went up to the mountain for 40 days. After 40 days, he came down from the mountain, and what did he find? He found the party, the golden calf. He went up on the mountain again, and for 40 days he was praying. Then he came down again from the mountains with the new tablets. And then he made another U-turn and went up again to the mountain for another 40 days to do tshuva. And then he came down on Yom Kippur. And that's it. So 40 days times three. 40 days to receive the Torah. 40 days to pray on the mountain and 40 days to do tshuva. Then he came down on Yom Kippur and then he started writing the Torah and so forth. So we see that each one of the foundations has a connection to the number 40.